Hey there, and welcome to another episode. We are going to dive into the second half of an amazing wedding. Uh, and I'm going to take you along behind the scenes so you can watch everything that I'm doing, the decisions I'm making, the lighting I'm choosing, how I handle some unique parts of the day uh, that are not common to wedding day, uh, how I handle photographing um, large scale reception decor, uh, everything from posing to working with the family, working with vendors. It's all here. This is a second shooter's dream. If you are looking for experience to be able to become a better wedding photographer with more experience, watch the second half of this wedding. If you haven't watched the first half, it's waiting for you. Normally, this is included uh, in our behind the scenes membership, which is called uh, All Access. It allows us to bring photographers on as our virtual third shooter. But today you are getting to experience this for free and I hope you enjoy it. All right, gang. All right so you guys are in for a treat. This is a very interesting ceremony and it, uh, interesting for um, an interesting reason. I've never had this happen to this in level of intensity um, in all of my 14 years. Um, all I'm going to say is, I don't want to ruin what's coming. All I'm saying is that the, the ceremony needed to be stopped. It had to be shut down for a little bit to deal with an emergency. So everyone's fine. Everyone is okay. Um, but it was a very, it was a fascinating thing to, to witness. And as a photographer, you know, um, what is our role in the midst of an emergency? So uh, very interesting ceremony coming your way. It was a very long ceremony. I'm going to try to get rid of some of the dead space in the middle. Um, but I'm excited for you to watch. Shade of that so you don't have glare. Yeah. I also forgot to tell you that Tyler, and you should know this from the previous part of this wedding um, that we've already released, but Tyler is the videographer for this wedding. Also, just in case you haven't seen, the, this is a high-end wedding. I'm sure you can tell. The florals alone in the back of the ceremony, give that away. Um, please pay attention to that whole row in the back. See how bright they are? It almost looks like the sun is coming from behind. They are just getting hit in the face with a reflection from the building. But also pay attention to the bride. She has harsh light on the front of her all the way until like right there. Then finally, but see, look at the background. See how it's overexposed. So when that happens in my mind, I'm like, I gotta, gotta get that standard shot no matter what the lighting is. And then I start trying to find ways to like, can I crop vertically and try to hide some of that? Um, you'll see some of those final images that I just shot in the gallery scroll. The reason why I didn't blog a ton of them um, and why they weren't in my favorites and aren't in this uh, recording is because that light was not good. Your engagement in the world, in your lives, different homes, different jobs, very different times. It bears acknowledging your incredible effort up to this point. As Albus Percival. All right. So you have to forgive me for sounding. You can hear me. I'm like out of breath running around. Wherever the mic was placed for this part of the day, it was just too close. I'm so sorry. Part of me wants to just do a voiceover over the entire thing. Michael just said, did you do wide? Yes, I did wide. Um, if I can do the wide shot, I prefer to do the Okay. Let me talk about this. Um, she has light reflecting on her from the building. And so um, she's a little bit overexposed, like on the back of her dress, but that's because, and if we pan over, if you see her again in a second, you'll, you'll see that she is brighter than him because of that reflective light. That all changes throughout the course of the ceremony. The light changes a bit. Um, a goal that I've had, I've used these kind of floral, um, uh, they're not arches, what are they? What do you call those? Uh, I should know this. Uh, I would use those to block the light from behind. And then I also found ways to make really pretty foreground. You'll see that in a second. Um, but ultimately, the light here was a little tricky. Like, yeah, that looks like my work. But editing wise, it took a lot to get that to look like my work. It was a little flat, a little dark, a little blue, a little gray. It was just a, a, a strange environment. Sorry, there's Ty. 
All right. So um, what happens is that a, a groomsman, two groomsmen, I actually forget which ones in the lineup over there, are locking their legs right now. And it becomes a little bit of a disaster. This is in October, by the way. It's not even that hot. That's what's so crazy. So stay tuned. It's coming. What an amazing contribution for someone to dedicate. Bend your legs. Yep, bend, bend your legs. legs. Don't walk in. Bend your legs. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It ha happens all the time. Okay. Yep. It's okay. Okay. So, um, do you hear my mom voice? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> um, I caught the bride's eye, mom sitting down. You can't see from here who I'm talking to. It kind of seems like I was just talking to myself, like telling myself it's going to be okay, which maybe I was doing that too. Um, let's just talk about what what is our job and what is our role in an emergency situation at a wedding where pictures don't really matter, just helping the bride save her sanity and feel at peace. That's all that matters. What can we do as photographers? I think my takeaway from this, and I have so many thoughts on this, but was to step in and help as much as I can. Everyone else is in shock, right? Maid of honor didn't go help the bride with her dress, but that's probably because of different reasons. Anyway, um, I can get into that later. I, I think they they were just shocked, really. Um, they weren't paying attention to needs. They were just, oh my gosh, what's happening? And there's a wife of the groomsman that fell over. The groomsman that fainted, uh, he looked pretty bad. He looked very gray and he didn't, he just fell out uh, and didn't come to for a while uh, and was a little out of it. So they actually called an ambulance and we, the ceremony didn't start back until the ambulance came and which is fascinating. So I want to let you keep watching. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay, it happens all the time. <laughs> you don't lock your legs. You bend, you bend your knees. <laughs> it's beautiful. We just get to look at it a little longer. Last time this happened, it was a pregnant girl. So this oh, is much better. Don't lock your knees. Don't lock your knees. No. Nope. So I never don't lock your fucking knees. Yeah. You probably didn't see anything. Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think we filmed the whole waiting process just because it was a lot of waiting, but they eventually had everyone move, like all the guests leave. And then we'll come back together. Okay. Okay. I guess we won't be capturing this. No. If you want to stay too, please. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Please. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. think Danny was talking about you, Mother. Yeah, no, you stay. Yeah. You want water? Water? Yeah, okay. you guys take a little break. Portraits and, and while families moving in, I'll do sunset. Just we have them walk through the field a few times and then they can go right in. Yes. Good to know. Yes. Well, you guys are done. We got ahead with y'all, which is great.
family, yes, we will, we will. I'm not documenting. Um, I, because I, I don't want to, I don't want to be disrespectful, but I also just want to say, if it's going to happen, you are the most gracious bride I know you for it to happen really? to. Yes. Thank you. you spend your life caring for people and helping people be well. Like it's. That's why I feel like I should be over there. You're telling me to come over no. here. Oh, you shape, like, no. Virginia? You know, you are so sweet to me. I will get one later. Better believe it. I did get a good picture. Those are precious. Very photogenic too. Oh good. It yes. Like it was crazy. I was yelling like, check his tongue, check his tongue. Yes. He yes. And he was going, like, he was yes. Yeah. And it was yes. Like his well, I didn't see him seizing. I just know he. Yeah. He, that's I, I that it, yes. I was like, that's not I mean, whatever. It's a, an it's Oh, you were you screaming know. because you're worried about him, yeah. not because your wedding was no, no, postponed like, just for a minute. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Here. Yes. Okay. Well. Danny knows what to do. Oh my God, the entire time I'm like, Danny's <laughs> Don't move. Don't move too much. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't move too much, Danny. <laughs> well, it's it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm just glad he's okay. And is that his girlfriend, his wife? His wife. They have two kids. Oh. Um, babies. One former. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He started feeling like looking weird. What's happening? Looking weird. Are you feeling okay? I'm good. How about? But is Ryan? Are you okay? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, how, how are we thinking? Maybe we can have groomsmen and bridesmaids sit in chairs for the rest of us. No, I say we just have them sit somewhere. Show up. Everyone have just. Yeah, I don't want them sitting in front of us. We'll just do just us two. Because then it's also awkward. Okay. okay. So here's a thought. Yeah. Are y'all comfortable finishing the ceremony without the two of them, or without you? T you tell us. But I think that's like a conversation that probably should be had. Well, next. we could. Um, well, it's your groomsmen. What do you? How do you feel? I, if, I'm fine with them sitting. I, but I, do we want to have everyone stand, or do we just want to have everybody sit and then Ryan will just stand? So it's less awkward. They may put an IV in them, so it may be like a decision of like are they attending or are they doing something else while the ceremony is gone would be my guess um, about what's about they're probably to... out yeah. of the ceremony well That's they're what definitely out of the ceremony but it's like yeah. yeah no I don't think we should yeah, we shouldn't wait for them to get ideas and come back. Yeah, that's what I'm no, thinking. Right. I don't no, want to throw no. off all, no. everything else. Okay. And I don't think they would want that. No, I, I think, think they want things really to keep awkward. going. We also already have an extra person with Brad for someone to walk down with. Yeah. So it would only be like the last person who could double up. Yeah. Uh, I can double up because I would love that. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? That's fine. We'll, have, we'll, have, we'll just continue on. Yeah. But do or I can walk down solo. Where did Kim go? You did walk down. Um, I think she, where did she go? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can go find her. Um, She's, you want me to go? Get it? No, I'll go get it. No, 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 you don't need it. I'll get it. So obviously, you know, it is common. Actually, she was just going to talk to you when you're done. Take your vitals, so you kind of get your bearings. I got to tell you, I have a ton of wide shots with everybody you you would never know if people are sitting the tight shot of the kiss is of just you like you would never know if you want everyone to sit down that's not odd to me okay. I'm thinking, like, should we just have everybody sit down sure because I'm worried another one's going to go down another one goes down then like it's pretty empty. yeah nobody was sitting in this row right Brian you okay with you yes whatever I start over Okay, here we go. So I was talking about Danny. That's fun. <laughs> All right, so we're we're back, and the officiant actually did not. I I assumed because everyone was kind of on pause for twenty to thirty minutes that he would kind of speed up what he was normally going to do. He actually didn't. Um, and I don't know if you can see the sunlight. I mean, this couple has no portraits with glowy light. That was a priority for them. Um, and the sun is slipping away. So I'm going to let you watch over top. I'm not going to stop or freeze a video cause it's, it's a little lengthy, but, um, let's talk about what I thought I did well during the panic and what I could have done differently. 
I think it was helpful to stay in it with them, like uh, not be the vendor that hides the on the side. It's like, I just document stuff. I don't make decisions. I think it's helpful, especially if you have a personality where you desire to connect with people. Um, I I feel like it was helpful to be a resource for her, not to not to offer, uh, you know, information that wasn't actually helpful, but to, to but to be there to help her process. Like, hey, I already have big wide shots, which is another reason to take a wide shot early of all of your bridal party. Everything else would, would be pretty much tight. So if you want to have them sit down, it's not the end, end of the world. Um, to be able to encourage her, it happens all the time. Does it happen all the time? No, but in my career, um, people fainting has happened quite often. Um, I've never had people shut down a ceremony and then restart it and m- move the entire guest um, list over to the cocktail hour. I've never had that. So that is kind of a first time thing for me, but being able to reassure my clients and being able to be involved in solutions with, without being annoying. I think some people in emergency situations, they want to be helpful and it's not helpful. It's like they're they're not contributing. They think they are, but really they just want to feel like they are helping somehow and it's too much. Okay, they're kissing. So um, so they're kissing. You can even tell a little bit in the coloring here. Uh, it's getting pretty dark. Um, so what is important next is to pay attention to how we handle sunset portraits. We basically take them out of the ceremony while everyone else is gathering family and we immediately try to capture a little bit of glow. And I think we did this exceptionally well. Hey there, sorry to interrupt. Hope you're loving this. If you are loving this, I just want to make sure you realize that this is an episode that is pulled out of our behind the scenes membership for photographers, where people get to learn from me behind the scenes. And there are literally hundreds of episodes where you can watch me do family sessions, engagement sessions, wedding days. If this is something you need, it's something you need in order to grow in your business. There's information linked below. It's only $29 a month and you can even try it for free for five days if you're not quite ready to dive in. Sorry to interrupt. Get back to watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Do you want to share a kiss? Perfect. Yeah, come on through. We are, we are, we're going to go straight up. We're going to rush you guys up and do sunset photos and then come back. We're going straight out front. Guys, you did it. Well, maybe you should just because you paid so much for them. We'll do portraits and we will make up time. Okay. Guys, that was beautiful. I'm glad they're okay though. They were sitting in the back. Yes, they were. They are. They're still here. We're gonna take advantage of the light because that's yeah. what we can't get back, but we can do other things in other ways. Yeah. So we will do this. Y'all can enjoy just being alone right after you're married. Oh, okay, we're good. Like go. trying to go as fast as I can. I know, I know. <laughs> we can come right through here. Okay. Hi. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Y'all are such oh. champs. Hi. Oh, we're good for now. <laughs> Let's see, you guys, let's go right, walk over in this little area over here. Yep. That was wild. That was wild, and you handled it with such grace. Oh, thank you. It's a lot of people who would not. <laughs> I'm just glad they're, they're okay. I know, and, and but still. It's scary. It was scary. Is it two of them? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what was in, yeah, what was in the I pizza? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but no, you know. I was thinking hot. No, that's what I was thinking. No, I'm good. Yeah. You're like, are you good? Please tell me if you're not. I just didn't drink water 
Yes, yes. Um, let me see. Oh, you guys. Oh. So you guys can walk towards me. You can hold hands with your beautiful venue in the background. So you're, well, actually, let's put him on the other side because he'll, he'll be taller that way. You're on a hill. Our goal is to loop you around. We're going to go to that tree and then go back and do family formals, okay? Perfect. Hand in the pocket for you guys. You're married. You're married. So you're walking nice and slow towards me, smiling at your wife. She's smiling at me. Beautiful. Can you believe it? I love it. Your brother's buildup was exactly what you needed. You can look at each other. You can pull your wife in for a kiss. Smiling afterwards. Just linger there nice and close. Forehead's touching. Beautiful. And you can keep on walking. Let's get over in this shade. And I'll have more flexibility that way. Oh, this is good, guys. Yeah. Okay, you good? Hand in the pocket. You're looking up at your husband while he's looking out over there. Very, yes. Um, I don't, do you see that? Tyler's camera. It's in the left. Oh, gosh, Caitlin. That's a pretty massive miss. That could have been an easy crop or easy clone. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not perfect, guys. Not perfect. I love, I love this time of day. Um, but this venue is tricky. It's up on a hill. And so, um, you lose the light a bit because unless you're shooting in the back, which is a dip down into a hole. So the, the backyard is in the shade now. That's where we were for the ceremony, but up a, on top of the hill, um, you can't shoot where the sun is too much because you have a white tent in the background and then you have the massive castle. So if you want to shoot in the glow, you either have to go on the other side of the tent, but then you start going down a hole again, or you go to the other side of the house. So I'm trying to use our journey around the house and you'll see we're going to end on the um, far right side of the house, right when the sun is setting. So I'm trying, oh, do you see that pink girl, the, the pink dress in the background? She kills me. If I did a wedding, if I had a wedding, my my one rule would be that no one can wear red or pink or orange. <laughs> um, you have to wear teal hues, like blues and teals. Everyone wear blues and teals. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm sure they could care less, but it, it bugs me. So now we're moving across the front of the house and we're going to that tree because that tree, I know, even though it doesn't look good from here, I know that if I stand on the other side of it because of my lighting and location knowledge, I know that technically that tree is actually in good light. It's not in good light from this angle, it's in good light from the backside. And we will get there eventually. But I need Michael for a veil if he can come. Okay, so let's keep going. Y'all keep walking, holding hands. Okay, oh, sorry, right in front of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you can throw it in the road. They shouldn't, they shouldn't mind. All right, so let's walk. You have your whole venue behind you. Hand in the pocket and you're walking, looking at each other. We're just, our goal is to get to this glow if we can. Beautiful. Laughing at Ty for no reason. Sorry, Ty. <laughs> Beautiful. Couple more. I'm going to have the groom. Let's have Ryan. You're looking right at me. She's smiling up at you. Beautiful. And we're going to see, we're literally just got to get to that patch and then we will do a whole bunch all at once. I know this veil is just epic, but it probably feels like you're ripping it out of your head. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it does feel that way, but I'm okay. As you know, we can you are, it all. You are such a gem. <laughs> Seriously. The last couple that we shot here, their, the groom was a quarterback. And yes. College as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Fascinating. Awesome. Oh, who have, thank you. William, William and Mary, right? Yes. Yeah. We're going to go to the other side of the tree. Guys, yeah. this was, okay, I'm very proud of my decision making. If <laughs> we had... Stunning. Because if we hadn't done this, you would not have any glow in your portrait. Yeah, so, right at, the, right at the roof. Okay, so, oh yeah, okay, we got a few minutes. Yeah. So let's um, let's scoot you guys over, Michael, into this pocket. Okay, Which so y'all come this right. way. Keep the light. Yes, just like this. You're gonna be now. I know this is not your favorite side, but this is a wide shot, That's fine. and then we'll switch. Okay, okay so face each other directly, belly button to belly button. Michael, I actually don't think we're going to fly this yep, yep. because it's so big, yep. but I'm going to let it look like it's flying just lightly, okay? Wow. Um, actually, yeah, this is good. Let's do one foot back this way just so we don't crop the, the, yes. All right, so lean against your husband for me. 
Forehead to forehead. Beautiful. I'll let Ty, Ty, you do your thing. Y'all can share a light kiss. Michael, can uh, This is literally, I mean, one of my favorites. I love it. I just love it. I love the composition. I love the light. I love the negative space. I'm very proud of it. It was one of those shots where you're like, yep, that's it. I'm going home happy. Um, if, if you've been a photographer for a while, you, sh you should have, I should coin the phrase like go home happy shots, like shots that you go home and you're like, I killed it. Look at that. This is, this is proof that I killed it. Um, so this wedding, oh, I just love it. So I, I was doing a veil fluff to kind of hide the people in the background, but I don't even care about those people. Maybe just the pink dress girl. Don't love the pink dress girl, but, um, I just love the light. It is perfect. So um, let's talk about finding light like this because from the back side of the tree, obviously it does not look like a good location, but it's a dream location. So how do you notice stuff like that when, when you're rushed and you're trying to figure things out? You, you have to have a formula and a concept of what you're looking for. Even if you can't see it visually, you have to be able to formulate it like, okay, if I'm on the back side of that, do I have secondary light? Yes. Is it going to be filtered and diffused? Yes. So I can control myself from haze. I can protect, sorry, protect myself from haze. So all these things are like subconsciously going through my mind as I'm shooting. And that's because of the type of knowledge I have from the lighting and location course. That's what I teach in that course. So how my brain works when it comes to finding good light that is consistent to my style. Now, we actually have an ad running on Facebook for the preset process that shows one of these images edited in four different ways. So I just responded to a message actually today, someone saying, hey, I really want the lighting and location course, but I'm not light and airy, right? You don't have to be light and airy. You just need to know how to find great light and great light for a dark and moody photographer. The only thing that's different is that when I run away from black, black holes, you would embrace them, right? Because you're not afraid of heaviness. You're not afraid of some dark, um, heavier edges or backgrounds or like you're actually going for that. But when it comes to light, you are making very similar choices. You're just having some different approaches to your editing and your exposure. Um, but lighting and location is going to teach you how to search for the light and the style that you want. So anyway, um, it looks so dark, but there's still a glow. Beautiful. This is where I switch to the 85 millimeter or I'm about to, I can't tell if I have or not. Um, because I want the background to be right behind them. More time and turn your belly button in towards his waist. Just like that, that's perfect. Both of you looking, looking right here, smiling here. Your heads can get a little closer together, just a little. Beautiful. Perfect, forehead to forehead. Do a little fluff with the hair back over the shoulder for me. There you go, oh yes. Gorgeous, almost done. I'm gonna do a little swoop, because I know you can't see a separation. We don't wanna have too much separation. Oh yes, thank you. You're welcome. I think our hair lady hope is still there. Yes, she, she should have left by now, I think. But it's okay. okay. Yes, yes. And you look very put together. Oh, thank you. Yes. There's a lot of brides that do not look this way. Okay. Really. No, yes. Like oh, heavens. Okay. Both of you can look. Oh, forehead to forehead tie. Sorry, I'm doing kind of wide. So foreheads can touch. You can rest against one another. Beautiful. Now Danny can look at me. He's nuzzling in. He's going to dip you back just a little bit. I love it. Looking at each other. You can share a kiss during the dip. Beautiful. You can pull her back up. Gorgeous. Both of you can look at me and smile over Ty's shoulder. Your heads are getting really close together. Beautiful. And I'm going to do, you know, the veil shot where it looks like it's flying towards me. Yeah. You got to have it. So let's see. I'm going to have him nuzzle. Emmy, can you actually help me? Sorry, girl. Just ripped it out your head. Just like that. Actually, Em, hold it right here. Okay, he's nuzzling in. You're looking over that shoulder. Okay, don't move, don't move. Beautiful. Just Danny's letting her model eyes come to me. Gorgeous. Almost done. Almost done. Perfect. Now let's adjust just a little bit. Emmy, let it fall a little. Okay. We need it more like this. Okay. Can you do it that high? And here, here you go. There you go. Perfect. He's nuzzling in. You're laughing at me, Danny, right here. And you can actually, both of you can tilt towards me. This is advanced posing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let those eyes fall. He's making you laugh. I love it. He's nuzzling in really close. Beautiful. 
Both of you can share a kiss, looking right at each other, smiling afterwards, and a forehead kiss. Emmy, we're almost done, I promise. You can relax. Perfect. Thank oh. you. Good job, I've Em. I've got your bag on my shoulder. I know. You did great. So let's walk over. We'll find family. I'm going to shoot from behind. Yes, let's do that. Yes, I need to get your veil. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's have you wrap the veil like around your arm. Is it okay if... Is it okay oh, if it pulls? Well, it, was just, it was dragging her earlier when she was trying to Oh, it's can we, easy. let's we just do try, one yeah. because yeah, yeah. I haven't captured the detail of it and then, and then we'll pick it up, Ty, is that okay? I, I, yes. Just the epicness okay. of it? Okay. Is that okay? It doesn't matter to me, I just want her to feel like she's getting... Are you okay with walking for a second? Yeah, I'm Okay. Fine. So you, you start walking, hold hands. I'm just going to try to capture the epicness of the veil because it does not last much longer. Okay, so y'all are walking. Stay really close. Oh, is it too much? Woo, it's heavy, isn't it? Actually, so let's, okay. let's, do, a let's do a static shot. That sounds good. Yes. Okay. Um, real quick. So just Danny is looking over her left shoulder at me. So Danny, oh, I love it. Danny, you can look over your left shoulder at me. Ryan, you're looking over at your wife. Perfect. Left hand of the pocket for me. Left hand of the pocket for Ryan. Beautiful. Danny, let those eyes look down. He's nuzzling in. Oh, girl. You, gosh. Let your hips lean into him. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Danny, let those model eyes come to me. Beautiful. Smiling right at me. He's smiling at you while he's nuzzling. Gorgeous. I love it. Smiling right at him. Beautiful. He's going to do a forehead kiss again. Beautiful. Arm can wrap around her waist even though you're still holding on. And Danny, you're going to look over your shoulder one more time at me. I love it. He's smiling at you. Guys, you guys are just beautiful. Eyes falling down, Danny. We're almost done here. Beautiful. Go ahead and walk. Or you don't have to walk because I don't want you to pull. But act like you are. Just like that. So you're looking over your shoulder, Ryan, to the left. Model shot, and Danny, you're looking past us, just out into the field, okay? Gorgeous. Just Danny's looking at me. I love it. Share a kiss here. And you're walking away. Just a few steps. One and two. One last kiss with your epic, epic venue behind you. Do a little, sorry, do one little fluff of hair. I just don't want you to see that one piece later and be like, Caitlin, you didn't tell me. Oh, yeah, bring it all over. So glad I'm not pregnant at this wedding because I can run a lot faster. Okay, one more kiss, one more kiss, and then we'll go get back on schedule. I know, Peloton, beautiful. All right, here we go. Let's lift that veil up. Y'all can walk, go meet your family. They probably wonder where you are. You, If you loop it, it probably looks more natural, like if you hold it, just like that. We can do a little loop over your arm and then kind of like hold this arm with his arm and then you can't really tell that it's yeah, yeah it still looks very bridal oh this is so good so you're laughing you're talking beautiful laugh over your shoulder at me danny if you can perfect that was good that was good y'all keep on going do whatever ty says he's in in control in control Okay. Yeah. They're all going to be around back. Yeah, yeah. You want to do more around back, right? Yeah, so we'll do around back. Sorry, I'm just trying to shoot what I. Hey, Ty, can I have them walk ahead? Can y'all kiss while you walk? Is that too hard? Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that's good. Guys, we're actually not that far behind. Doing great. Yes. It's really great. Like, like 10, 15 minutes. We're making it up. Yes. <laughs> Married and stuff. Do y'all want to switch sides so that you have your swoop side? Is that okay, Ty? I 
I mean, here's the thing. We don't have to try to make y'all photogenic. It's just happening. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Some glow. Oh, guys. Right, Wait, do you see do you see that glow where Michael's walking? Yeah. Oh. No, no, pass the air conditioner. We gotta get that. That is oh, that's beautiful. I've never seen that here. See the glow. Do you even know me? <laughs> I think it's from the um the dirt. Oh yeah, y'all can y'all stay on that knoll. Oh, we got it for a few seconds. This is great. Let's get your side that you love. Oh, you know what? The other thing that's fascinating is that you had a hot spot during the ceremony at first, right on you. It's just light that you can't change. Yeah. And since we waited the end, it was nothing but even and glowy. Oh, good. So it actually you ended with just beautiful light. Oh, good. So it was really great. I that's there's amazing. some some perks in the midst of something unexpected. So why don't y'all face, uh, face one another. Let's do flowers over his neck for me. So the flowers in the right hand around his neck. You're going to pull in. You can put an arm around. Actually, let's do a hand in the pocket to show okay. off. So oh, you're, yeah. no, you're, you're just holding onto his jacket. Okay. Flowers can go up just a little bit. Ty, you good? Okay, let me back up. Oh, this is good. Both of you can look at me. Wow. Oh, you're looking up at your husband, girlfriend. I love it. You can nuzzle into him. Beautiful. You can be forehead to forehead together. Gorgeous. Now you're going to look down over your shoulder for me, Danielle. Let those eyes fall like you're checking. You can stay really close to him so he doesn't have to reach. But your eyes, yes, just like that. I just want to make this as epic as we can get it. Perfect. Let me back up. Stay just like that, y'all. This is perfect. Here I am saying y'all to you, you Bostonians. You're like, well, what is that girl talking about? Couple more. Beautiful. Y'all can go ahead and share a light kiss. You're going to dip her back just a little bit. You can smile, laugh, stay nice and close, foreheads touching. Kind of rub your noses together. I know that's so odd. Perfect. Foreheads together just for one. Beautiful. And you can pull her back up. Just Danny is looking at me. Model shot just like this. Ryan, you're looking towards Dover, just right over here to that wall. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm holding it up high. Can I crawl on this? Okay, sure. that's good. Okay, oh, this is it. You're too tall for me, Danny. Beautiful. Now let's switch it up. Danny, you are looking out into the distance. Ryan, you're looking right at me. Wow, yes, both of you smiling here. Your temples can get nice and close together. Beautiful. Guys, you're married. Can you believe it? Yes. Kiss her like you mean it. Kiss your, kiss your wife. Kiss your wife. Okay, so we got a lot accomplished. If you're wondering, like, why do those look like the background is just so blurry? This was, these were shot with the 85 millimeter. It comes out when, it's actually fascinating that I chose to use it during their portraits because this was so rushed. That's why I'm so out of breath. Look at me. I look crazy. Uh, but I was running around like crazy because this, I mean, this is my last chance for glow. This gorgeous wedding. Can you imagine only having a few portraits from the beginning of the day? So this is my chance and I feel like we really took advantage of it. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I'll pick it up. You got it. You're doing great. Thank you. You guys are awesome. This is like. Well, you just have to forgive how crazy I look and sound. Oh. Um. Oh, that was so great. If y'all actually want to um, hold hands while you're walking, might as well. Just, I'm gonna shoot as much as humanly possible because once I lose this light, I lose it. Gorgeous. Perfect. <laughs> you got oh. I see the van. <laughs> I 
Okay, so what we did here, we sacrificed glow of family formals for the to, to get the glow for the couple. And that was definitely a worthwhile sacrifice. You don't have to have glow for family formals. We could have even done family formals with flash in the tent or outside if we needed to. The priority was to get them some epic portraits that match the epicness of the rest of their day. And I think we did that well. Um, what's also interesting about this whole wedding was um, the planner, uh, actually, she doesn't own this venue. She owns a different uh, high-end venue down the road. And um, they have a very exclusive vendor list. And because of the way we handled ourselves in the chaos, the way we served them, the way that we made up time, the way that we still captured epic things, we basically saved the timeline uh, in a lot of ways. And she was so impressed by that. She was like, we got to get you on our vendor list. Um, she's like, we have one spot left and it needs to be you. And that was so, so sweet of her. Um, it just goes to show that even in the midst of chaos, um, this is all marketing. It's just all marketing. And the thing about it is... Um, even when, you know, it's happening, I, I'm not thinking to myself, oh, this is a marketing opportunity for me. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what do I do to make them feel less bad? Like she feels awful. She's nervous. She's, she, she feels like her wedding's falling apart. How can I help her with my expertise, with my, my calm, mostly calm personality? How can I help? I'm not thinking about marketing. What's interesting, the people I think the people that in the chaos of an emergency or just the business of the day, they're just trying to serve people, make them feel great, make them feel loved, but you're not thinking about marketing. Those are the people that actually get marketing power, right? My goal right now is just to give them the best experience and to serve them. And the more that my mindset stays in a healthy place to think of others first and to serve them and be the best version of the KJ team we can be, the more marketing power we get, just like what happened with the planner. So let's go ahead and pay attention to some of this. Um, if I remember correctly, these went um, pretty smoothly. We just had to keep everyone engaged. Okay. You guys look amazing. How are we feeling? You ready? Here we go. Smiling right here. One, two, and three. Beautiful. One, two, and three. Gorgeous. All right, why don't we add you two in just for one really quickly so we can have you guys scooch over. You can have on whichever side you belong to. Mom and dad, dad, you can get right here. And then mom in between the two men. There you go. Perfect. You can, get, you can turn in this way and mom, you can turn in that way as well. Okay, here we go. And then add sister after this. Yes, one. Yes, it's good. <laughs> here we go. Perfect. Smiling here, everybody. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Tyler, come on in. You can stand wherever you like. Let's put you on this side, actually. Sure, that would be great. Oh, careful. There we go. And Tyler, if you want to keep your arm out, then you get really close to mom. There you go. And Grandma, you can take... Um, I, sorry, I don't know what they call you. But Grandma. You're, Grandma. Perfect. I was on it. Your arm can be, stay in front. Sorry, oh, Tyler. Your your left right. arm can be in front, and then you can bring this oh, arm I in see. front. Oh, yes. we're going this way. Yes. Okay. That arm could be in front. Um, your right arm. There you go. Perfect. Smiling here, everybody. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. Grandparents? Um, I, we oh. need individual grandparents. So like these two. Okay. Everybody comes out. Perfect. Y'all stay. Y'all stay put. Y'all can get, okay. can get in. You guys. Yes. Yep, yep, you're on deck. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Perfect. Or actually, can we do maybe them on the other side? Sure. Yeah, sure. So maybe you, you two yeah. come over here. Yeah. yeah. Grandma, you come over here as well. Oh, that's That fine. way you can see my dress in the back. Okay. Oh. And then mine, you get on this side of me. Oh, yes. With your, your, yes, yes, so yes, yes. yes. Was, yep, yep. So, dress, is it coming forward? You can come forward if you want. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, smiling here, everybody. One, two, and three. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. You two can come out. You two don't come go, in. Don't go far. We'll do it. We well, I don't want you to leave quite yet. We have one special photo of you guys. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes. Smiling here. One, two, and three. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, you guys don't go far. Okay. You want to have just parents of the bride? 
All right, just dad, you can come on in. Mom, you can come on in. You're like, do not leave, do not leave. You can stand right next to your girl and dad can fill in. It looks beautiful. Um, awesome. Everyone take one little baby step forward so we're not hiding under the flowers. There we go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Smile in here, everybody. One, two, and good job, Dad. One, two, and three. Beautiful. One more just like this. And awesome. Okay, let's have the groom step out. Dad, you can come on this side of your girl. Just the three of you. A second. I know. That can be an thing. Yes, smiling here. Beautiful. Dad, I'll have you get just a little closer. There you go. So something that I uh, just kills me to rewatch, mom's arm there, I should have had mom reach over and hold on to her bouquet. Um, maybe I do it here. I hope I do it here. I don't know. Please, oh, oh nope, I didn't. Ah, that, what a miss. I, I don't, sometimes I don't notice these things, you know, until later. And I think I was in such a rush. Um, it was getting dark. I don't know if you can tell, um, but it was getting pretty dark. And I know we have a grandparent shot to redo. Um, and everyone is kind of waiting at the reception area. So I was rushing. So is it, oh, and I need one of just the two. Oh, good. See, I do think of some things. Again, I could have had mom turn in a little bit more and hold on to his jacket. Anyway, okay, well, we're moving on. You live and you learn. Dad, your new brother over here. Hey. Yes, Dad, you can come right in. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, Mom, let's have you angle in towards the bride. You can actually hold under her bouquet with your hand, and then Dad, you can get a little closer to Mom. Okay, see, there I remembered. I, I remembered. Why can't I remember that all the time? There's things about doing this so long that you realize like, oh yeah, that's a good thing to do at every single wedding. And then sometimes I forget, like mom hold on under the bouquet. It's more flattering because um, you, her arm creates a line and it cinches in her waist. So, um, okay, we have a few more uh, with his side and then we're, we're just gonna keep going. There is a grandparent shot coming that she wants to recreate. So, okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna let this go through at normal speed just because a lot of you ask for that. I think it's boring, but a lot of you say it's helpful. So I'm gonna let you watch it and not interrupt. Yeah, yes. I would like yes. Yeah. So as, as long as I'm with you, yeah. I will be good. Um, can we, is it okay to move one of these? Cause since we're moving the. I think it's all one big board. Oh, is it? Oh, there you go. Michael, you want to grab the middle? He's got it. He's oh, here. you know, you know. Sorry. Just one. There you go. Thank you. Okay, everybody, let's get you a little closer. You guys a little bit closer. Um, Tyler, let's have you tuck your shoulder behind mom just a little bit. Make sure I can see dad perfectly. Okay, here we go. Everybody is smiling here. Guys, we still have glow back there. This is great. Yes, one, two, and three. Beautiful, awesome. Okay, so grandparents on this side, you are, we have one photo. You can, do you mind going to set them on a bench? Yes. Oh, oh yes, yes, sure, yes. sure, yeah. <laughs> Smiling here. Beautiful. Any other variation? No, no, that was perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. No, that's okay. That's great. Perfect. All right. We did. We did one with you and the bride and groom and parents. Yes, we did. We did. Okay. Her and the, her and parents. Sure. Um, are them sitting on a bench? I don't have a bench right here, but I could do chairs. Perfect. Okay. Can someone put a line of chairs right there? Four chairs. Beautiful. Okay. Everybody is smiling here. And dad, if you want to hold on to mom's elbow with your right hand, dad, you can hold. Yes. Right. Yes. There you go. Just like that. Yeah, a little bit closer to it. There you go. Smiling here. One, two, and three. Gorgeous. Have a little cheerleader over my shoulder. This is great. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. So, so stay here. 
we are adding in siblings. Siblings. Okay. Well, I don't know. I need someone, I need mom to look at it because I don't know exactly. They're laughing a certain way. So Daisy's just going to wait. Okay. Y'all get in nice and close. Beautiful. Even closer on this side since there's a few more on this side. Perfect. Smiling right here. One, two, and three. Hold on one second. There you go. Perfect. Smiling here. Here we go. One, two, and three. Gorgeous. Let me do one vertical so you have options. Beautiful family. Okay. Rob and Linda, you are done. Tyler, you are not. Oh. I'm going to bring siblings to this side. Okay. You want to nope, you're in. This is your family. Um, Froome's immediate family. You good? So Tyler's in another one at, yes, after that. Siblings. siblings. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Okay, guys, smiling right here. Yes, you're almost done. Smiling here. Brothers, get a little closer over there. There you go. One, two, and three. Yes, Dad, way to go. He held on to your. Oh, I didn't have to tell him. One, two, and three. Big smiles. Gorgeous. Okay, next one. Bride and groom with groom's parents. Okay. Um, so the siblings come out. Siblings come out. Just you, Dad, you can come around and stand beside your new daughter over here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Dad, come a little forward. There's a plant attacking your shoulder. Thank you. Beautiful. Got me. Okay, smiling here, everybody. One, two, and three. Beautiful. One more. One, two, and three. Gorgeous. Now the bride will come out out. You want to do that real quick? Yep. Right. Brian will come out with just him with his parents. Okay. So you can step right over here. Y'all can get nice and close, the three of you. Perfect. That's good. Um, you, you, you can hold, yeah, or, or you can pinch the side of your dress is just fine as well. Just a little bit. Yes. Yeah, smiling right here. Awesome. Why don't you do one holding on to his jacket so you're holding on to him just like that. Yes. Yeah, smiling here. I love it. One, two, and three. Perfect. Dad, step out, but don't go far. Just you and your mama. No, oh, no. You need. To. I love it. Beautiful. Smile at your mom. I know you love her. You're looking at each other. Oh, you're so precious. Okay, that's wonderful, mom. He is. I have two boys. This makes me tear up. You. I just can't. Dad, step in. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Smiling right here, guys. One. One, two, and three. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. All right. Um, I need to just the two of you and your husband. Really quick. Bride and groom with all the siblings. Bride and groom with all the siblings. Okay. That's not you, Mom. Okay. No, she said, she said me and Wayne. You, yes, just the two of you. Just, um, I did one of the bride's um, parents, so I'm going to do one real quick of you. Okay. That's fine. Smiling. Smiling right here. Yes. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. One, two, and three. Smiling here. Perfect. Okay. We need. Um, bride and groom with siblings. Bride and groom with siblings. And Linda. Oh, Tyler. Tyler. One more. Tyler. Or Linda. But can you show me um, exactly how they were laughing that you want? Do you, love. 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 <laughs> that is. And you, and can I do that? Can I have you scooch a little closer to her just a little bit to fill that gap? There you go. All right. Now we're laughing again. <laughs> yes. Laughing at each other. Oh. Is that close, you think, Mom? Okay, great. Go on in. Yes. Three brothers. Three, three brothers. Yep, got it. Perfect. All the bros, get in here. Smile in here. One, two, and three. Oh. Perfect. It really is fine. I think it's like sticking in. Okay. Yes, I know. It's a lot. You did great. Oh, no way. You're coming down in here. Tyler, you're beside her. This is the last one. Good. You're good. Reception. What just happened? Okay. Oh, sunken. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I'm done. I'm done. You should be done. Yes. No, it's okay. You're great. Good. Okay. Last one. Last one. I think. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, and just look at Pat. Heavy, heavy machine. Make sure you're looking at Pat and you're fine. Okay. And then you're all good. But can we all get this mic? All right. You know, fast. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Tyler, man, come on, girl. <laughs> here it goes. Smiling right here. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Awesome. So, if it's yes. okay with you guys, yes. I think that the thing we do is to take them now yes. to the tent. Yes. Show them the tent. Let them get photographed. And then I'd like to send her up for touch ups. And then I'll yes. bring all the people Perfect. in. Perfect. Yes. Cool. Let's do that. Can you help me get flashes set up? Oh, I might get. Hey, guys, before you leave, y'all can leave. Y'all just. <laughs> Y'all are dismissed. You don't have to wait. You okay? Okay. Smile. I know it's a lot. Smiling right here and then we're good. Y'all can share a kiss with your arbor. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Okay. Here we go. So, Michael, we're going to go get... So, Michael, that one needs to go back behind, like, the bar. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, gosh. I feel awful. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's okay. I can get it. Yes, hold on. I can't. I gotta wait a second. Okay. Lord have mercy. Yes. Oh, I, Olivia, oh, sorry. Oh. I just realized Abby's lighting candles. Where do you want her facing you? Um, this is fine if you want them looking, and then I can turn them around. Um, we'll try to cover that mat as much as we can. No, no, it's fine for right now. You want her to pay you? Um, sure, yes. Ty, I might have to get you to back up. Okay, that's probably good. Yep. Um, we do have some people still in. Is that okay for you? You guys, if y'all want to... Um... If you want to put your arm under her veil um, and put your arm around her waist, Ryan, if you want. Just, just love looking at... Guys, what a dream. It is. Could you guys, um, could you share a light kiss maybe while you? Oh, one more just like that. Y'all can hold it for a second. Wow. Why don't you guys hold hands and kind of walk around, look at your beautiful layout. This is amazing. Now, you may think like, okay, Caitlin, I don't know why you're using flash because, um, you know, everything's pretty bright already. Well, it was kind of bright, but do you see those hot spots, those pin lights on the, on the main um, large table? And then there's some spots on the other, there actually are spots on every table. Well, maybe not the candle ones. It's actually very complicated to shoot stuff like this because those tables are going to be overexposed and then everything else if you expose for the pin lights um is going to be underexposed and so my off-camera flash in the back of the tent actually provides a little bit of light to filter through some of the heavier spots um, it makes it a little bit more even um so it's it's just a tricky situation like if you look back behind me there's one thing beside the bar that has a pin light. The other one doesn't. Think about what that looks like when you photograph it. That it, it feels as an experience. It feels awesome to have pin lighting, 
But from a photography perspective, oh, it's it's actually makes it more complicated. Um, it's not impossible. It's just not my favorite thing to shoot. So I'm using flash to kind of even out the shadows with the exposure of the pin lights. And it's not a perfect evening out, um, but it just, it helps a little bit. So yes, I could shoot all of this um, without a flash, but I'm choosing to use a flash off camera and then one bouncing on camera. And then I have an umbrella somewhere. Um, as a way to try to even out my lighting situation. So it looks more like my style and isn't super dark and dramatic in the background. First time, Michael, you run away. Here we go. Okay. So you're looking at your, your tablescapes. Beautiful. Beautiful. If y'all want to share a kiss here with your epic tent. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need a battery in a second, Michael. Time for the party dress yet? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm okay right now. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Y'all share a kiss. Turn in towards towards each other. Arm around your bride's waist. Pull her in. Do I need a bed? You can dip her back a little bit. Wow. Oh my heavens. Gorgeous guys. Gorgeous. What a dream. You're good. So I just need a big big wide and then I'm good. Yeah. Okay. We are. Well, oh. they were, that's a difference. Y'all might be, but the rest of you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were supposed yeah. to leave right now for sunset portraits. The only thing that hasn't happened yeah. is introductions. And the, the, the food's supposed to be served. All the food is supposed to be served. I'm pretty sure. No? Or be served. Okay. Um, so I need, I need that a little bit closer. Okay. All right, Ty, let me know when you're done and I'll do this wide shot. Michael, I'm, you were good. I'm done with you. Oh, <laughs> that sounds awful. I'm, I'm done, done with, with you. you. I'm never done with you. Um, but I'm going to shoot this really so quick. Okay. I think you're supposed to be going up to get, to get touch, touch ups. ups. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm done. I guess you can go to cocktail hour maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'd appreciate it. Meet and mingle. Would you like to meet and mingle as well? Oh, I can do that right Okay. All right. Good deal. All right, is that back one? That back one, can you put it in that far one and shoot it? This way. Whew, sorry. The pin lighting is just never good. You know? The tree that's, uh, are the trees? I can't tell. Maybe, maybe move it in between, like, keep going, keep going right there. And then you can pull it up high again. Like right there, uh, right there. That's good. All right, so we're going to talk just for a few minutes about flash because, um, well, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I know how to do it, and everyone who is a wedding photographer needs to know how to do it as well. Um, so I do use ratios. There was a time in my career where I didn't, and it's because I would just move my light stand further away to make the light softer. Um, if you're not using ratios, it means that the flash power, the amount of light coming out of your off-camera flash, your on-camera flash, it's all the same. But when you set up ratios, you can say, all right, well, I want flash A to be at 1 32nd of a power. I want the next flash to be full power. I want my on-camera to be a minimal power. You, you just have more freedom. Um, what you're seeing me do here is being frustrated that they're not sinking. And we have run into this issue several times in the last few years, and we never quite know how to explain why it's doing what it's doing. Um, sometimes it can be that the flashes are not on the right channel. Sometimes it can be interference from the DJ or wireless mics. Sometimes it can be interference with my mic for all access because it's got a um, transmitter to the filming camera. Um, and sometimes it can just be that I need to start and shut down and restart the minute and it's fine, it connects. So 
figuring out a linking problem. If you ever see me frustrated with one of my lenses, it is 99% of the time I'm frustrated because they're not linking, they're not syncing up. So my on-camera flash is not triggering my off-camera flashes. Um, and I would say that that's become more of a problem with the more technology that's at weddings. So if I have a simple wedding um, where there's nothing else interfering, then I don't normally have a problem syncing up. It, it seems to always be, now I also look frantic because I'm trying to capture things that I don't feel like I captured and the guests are just pouring in. And I get a little crazy when that happens. Did you see Michael's face? He just looked at me like, why is she freaking out? Well, I'm freaking out because once people start lining up at the bar, I can't get a detail shot of the bar. Once people start sitting down at tables, I can't get place settings. So, okay, that image I don't love. It's It seems way too harsh for me. Part of me is like, do I not love it because of the lighting or do I not love it because I don't like the plastic walls? I really do really don't like plastic walls on tents because it photographs like a plastic bag and you can kind of hide that look a little bit if you shoot with a more shallow depth of field but if you're doing like a wide shot where you're showing like the whole feel of the whole room especially using a flash you're going to see the ripple of the plastic um, and the reflection of light on the plastic in the background it's kind of hard to avoid but anyway okay let's keep going <laughs> Um, that was an unfortunate mess up during their <laughs> introductions. Before I get started, I'd like to thank Mr. and Ms. All right, so you may think, Caitlin, you have your umbrella, which you normally use to expose for the front of the subject um, to soften the light that hits on the front. Anyway, you normally have that in front, so why is it behind the guy giving the toast? Well, also, can we talk about, well, if you go back and look, oh, the girl sitting right behind the bride in a hot pink dress. Anyway. My goal with that flash, the off-camera flash with the umbrella, is to expose the bride and groom. Because yes, I do want pictures of the person who is toasting, but the reaction of the bride and groom and them holding on to each other and friends laughing behind them, that is more of a priority in my mind, especially the way this is set up. Um, this is set up in an almost impossible situation. No, I did really love these. I loved being able to shoot from this angle. 
So that off-camera flash is providing some directional light from the bride and groom's left, uh, my right. And when I was shooting, I don't know if you can see, yes, you can. Tyler has a video light projecting on the toasty, whoever's toasting. Um, and so they have a little bit more help being exposed properly. You can see that on his face um, compared to the bride and groom. So that's another reason why my umbrella off-camera flash is facing the couple. They are my focus. They get the best light. We met right around August 9th, 2004. It was at the BG football practice, and when I saw him, he was the skinny kid from Drake Kid. That is gross. <laughs> but a few months later, I went to a very pink Victoria's Secret, and I bought my first bomb. And let me tell you, adolescent Tyler was very thankful, and it changed the leggings game. <laughs> I've ever had a more foundational or more important lesson. Okay, so that, that was definitely a toast about a thong. Um, but moving on, I did cut some of the toast just because um, they were lengthy and the way that I shot them stayed the same. I met an untimely fate on the concrete of Trinity College. Plates just got dropped about five minutes ago, but those people are still like active. There's no eating. other plates to photograph, is there? I mean, I don't have to, but so I try to. What's happening is, oh, empty spaces? No, like uh, like the food, just to see like what they... Like, is there an extra on? I mean, I got the sorbet. I haven't gotten everything, but... That's my bit too late. That's okay. That's okay. You can't win them all sometimes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you think they're going to care about that? They might. Okay. That's okay. Would that be okay? I'm trying to save myself from an uh, angry email in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take a picture of Yeah, yes. Well, that wouldn't that be good? Oh, yeah. I just got to take a picture of that. Yeah, steak. just need a good old piece of steak. I don't want to get in trouble. Right. Four of them, too. Yeah, we need four for the picture. No, no, this is great. Now, I'll tell you what, that is the way to win over a vendor relationship because I don't know if you notice, but his staff had to put their gloves back on. They had to pull out everything from the heater. Um, they had they had to do things that they thought they wouldn't have to do again because I didn't photograph something at the proper time. And no one acted annoyed. If anything, like the guy in charge was joking with us, um, that is top notch. I mean, for me, it, an experience like that really makes you realize like that could have been a make or break. I could have had like, oh yeah, I've worked with that caterer just like any other caterer or, oh yeah, I work with that caterer. They're great. They're super friendly, easy to work with. Um, just because they chose to have a good attitude and do a little extra work to save me from the embarrassment of not having a food shot. be nice if I could get all three. I'm gonna do it on this table. Yeah, can we move the light over there? Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe pull that back a little bit. I just need to get this real quick.
Okay. No, Too bad we can't eat it, right? It's all about the same. There is no combination of words of the same. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Y'all done with that? Yes. We just photographed them. Y'all should eat them. Well, I, I don't have time. I wish I could. We do, but we can't. Like, it's killing me that we can't. Wow. That was amazing. I, I can taste it. Well. Are they doing cake now? Yeah. Well. You Just turn it where it is. Can you block it? I don't know. Maybe. You want to try to hold it up? You like I covered how I covered that pin line for you? And me. Act like you like each other. Yeah, you're smiling, you're smiling. So do you see what I mean with the plastic in the background? It's To me, it's just so distracting. And honestly, it's really hard to get rid of. And it, something I could have tried was putting an off-camera flash behind them to kind of counteract the reflection. But uh, it, in the moment, that seemed like a, a lot to ask. Just a little one. Um, we are going to move into the ballroom. It's just a little sneak peek of oh your... My. That, so I don't know what, guys, our fast, yes. Oh my God. Is our, I'm so glad we went out there when we did. Oh my God, stop the madness. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Oh my God. I'll take one of those. Oh. Is Michael right here? Yes. Yes, he is. You know all of our secrets. You do. That hill. Oh. I know. Can I tell you, I think the dust is from the ambulance moving. Yeah. Isn't it is. that fascinating? Yeah, like little, little joy. Little, yes, yes. So this is, these are just a few. There are hundreds more. I can't Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, I am. It was such an honor. Oh, I just want to show you. Picture perfect, everything is just picture perfect. So yes, now you get to party. Yes. No, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, will, I will tell you, I will tell you when I leave, but y'all have plenty of time. Um, we still need to do your exit, all that fun stuff. Your first dance, we got a dance, yes. Um, she is the epitome of a, a perfect bride. Um, I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about. Um, but she's so chill. I mean, she literally just said, oh, are you done? I'm like, no, I'm not done. I, you have half your reception left. I'm not done. Um, just very gracious. Did not have, for having such an elaborate wedding with such a high price point, high budget, really great vendors, her expectations were just very realistic and very, um, is respectful? That not, I don't think that's the right word. She just... It, they were appropriate, and and they it was so nice to work with someone that was just so grateful for anything I did, um, and in some ways for me that motivates me to just 
I always feel motivated to do a good job, but for clients that act like, oh yeah, like, you know, are you almost done? No, you have two more hours of coverage that you paid for. It just motivates me more to, um, to just to do the best that I can. And I, I think that's because I just know that she's so appreciative and it's really easy to serve someone that appreciates you and, and shows gratefulness towards what you're doing for them. So, um, we're talking, we should listen to this. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, I yeah. Would I you, would it. you, yeah. That honestly, is that, better? that is better. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. No thank worries. You, thank okay. You. Hopefully we can get everybody in here kind of quick. Yes. So what I was talking to her about, I don't know if you saw the, like the LED uplighting, we just moved it around the side and it made such a difference. Um, they're going to be sitting there. I forget for what, I don't know. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Began at a college party, freshman year. So the very first time we met was a big party in college and we went to a girl's room who I was friends with, me and my buddies, and Danny was there and I saw her and I was just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> And then I remember about two weeks later, I was at a party and it was a Halloween party, and everyone was singing happy birthday to this guy in a ridiculous hat. So I joined in, kept singing happy birthday, and it turns out it was Ryan. And then we didn't really talk until like another two years after that, especially when we were in the sophomore year. I had a giant crush on the entire time. But the first time we actually met was we were all hanging out, and we went back. A bunch of us went back to my, my dorm room late, and we ordered pizza, and her and I went to go grab it, and we were gun shots in the distance. <laughs> really, for Hartford, that's not a rare occurrence, so you do get very used to it. But I remember turning to him and saying, we, we should really get inside. And he was like, okay, well, well let's just go get the pizza first. <laughs> and we sprinted to the pizza man. So this is an interesting... Um, uh, part of the reception, they were basically just listening to recordings, and um, it's not, oh, it wasn't a bad thing at all. It just was something where I was like, I gotta make sure I'm photographing the right thing because they, I guess they didn't know what each other was gonna say. That's why I was photographing just them. But I had a thought watching this, like, I wonder if they wanted more of like guest reaction. Anyway, um, but I had an off camera flash um, over to you can see Michael standing next to it there, and. Um, and it it did a great job. Some of that bright kind of like glow is just from, there's a lot of different kinds of ambient light. We've got kind of a candelabra over here that's probably one type of LED. We've got blue lights on the stage. We've got LED uplighting that has more of a, a bluish tone. We've got the lights of the castle, and then we've got my flash. So um, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's not a bad thing. It's just good to recognize, you know, yeah, this is gonna be great in black and white. Um, also, the more directional your light is, the more dramatic your black and whites are going to be. Uh, and so I love these in black and white, even if, you know, if I needed to have them in color, I think it would have been just fine, but black and white seemed classic. And it also looks the best when you have a lot of mixed lighting, it looks the best uh, in a blog post. I don't know if you could see me just them trying to decide like uh do i do i scoot around that is the worst when when they dip and it's not towards you i was afraid i was going to miss it again so i moved just in case it looks like he was going to go for it and no no i don't know what they're doing actually anyway i um that is something that i struggle with and you know something that would be a good remedy for that would be uh michael shooting from a different angle but i actually told michael not to shoot I wanted him to be on light stand duty because I was afraid that I wasn't aware of where I was going to want to shoot and things were going to change because there were so many different like events. So he's on, which he, he likes being on, um, the light stand duty, but that is a solution. Your second shooter can be at a 90 degree angle, um, to the side of you on one side or the other. And then you have double the amount of chance to capture a dip from the right angle. It's almost impossible the amount of love you have for the people in your life. Honestly, where does it all come from? I am beyond excited to spend the rest of our life together. We can't wait to celebrate each moment in store for us. Danny, 
I love you. You know it. Mr. Robert Eisman to dance with his daughter. And yes, if you're wondering why is the flash, Michael's flash turned away, it shouldn't be. I don't think, unless there was a reason. I don't think, I think it needs to be twisted and he doesn't realize it and I don't realize it. It's fine. I mean, I think that light looks fine, but eh, that's definitely something that I would have adjusted. Um, something else that you might notice that I kind of wish I had tweaked a little bit in editing. Some, some of it's a little off just because editing in a video editing program, bringing in images, the color can shift a little bit, but, um, there's some, there were some orange skin tones and that's just from all the different lighting that's happening here. We got tons of different lighting, um, happening. Just look at the way it's hitting different people. We've got some pin lights, we've got up lighting, we've got chandeliers, we've got band lighting, all the things. So, um, that kind of orange glow comes from having just more ambient light, um, and not letting the flash be super overpowering. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just something that I wish I had adjusted a little bit with editing. Um, okay. Now we're going into party dancing. I love shots where the light creates speckles like that. Um, uh, but then he moved his head and now we have haze, um, which is still fun for a dancing shot. But, um, okay, so let's get to dancing. So let's talk about photographing in the midst of kind of chaos. Can you find me? Where's Waldo? Where's KJ? Um, I'm right there trying. I'm using a bounce card, low power bounce card, just pushes a little bit of extra light on the faces of my subjects. And then I have glow on the back, but it is tough because I have so much light coming. I mean, look at the bridesmaid on the left. She's in kind of harsh spotlights. Then you have mom and like, um, uh, maybe grandma or a friend near the groom over there and they have kind of soft spots on them. Um, and then you got people in a dark hole and then we got the flash and, 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 uh, you know, it's just not my favorite, but I'm constantly trying to control and manage light sources. Um, and so I think, um, 
For me, when I'm shooting in a situation like this, I like using a lens that has some width. Now, um, I used to have a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens that I used early on in my career and I did love that width. It was definitely different than the 28 to 70, the 28 millimeters versus, okay, see how that light's coming from the side? I wish I was a little bit more to the right because I don't like that light. Um, I'm moving my flash a little bit here, making a little adjustment. Um, so anyway, I use the 28 to 70 2.8, two, sorry, 2.0 lens, and I shoot a lot at uh, 28 millimeters during reception dancing. But I do, there are times when I miss, miss the 24, but the truth is long before the R6, long before this new um, lens that I love, I didn't even use a 24 for years. I probably haven't used a 24 millimeter uh, since, I don't know, 2011 or 12. It was short lived. It got dropped once. We sent it off to get fixed. It never truly got fixed. I don't even know if I still have, I guess I still have it somewhere. I, I did love it because it was extra wide, but it's not been a part of my life for a very long time. So um, now something that I don't love about using the 28 to 70 2.0 zoom lens during reception shots is that there is a limited amount of light. When you're shooting with a zoom lens, you have multiple layers of glass. You, you're you asking the light to come through more than if you were shooting with just a prime lens. So, um, but the, the variety and shooting at 2.0, it, I, I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to stick with this because I love that I can do a tighter portrait shot. Um, I can, I can look like I'm shooting with a 50 and then I can look like I'm shooting with, you know, a little wider than the 35. And I love that. So it's worth it. Um, so I kind of hover around the bride, but then I try to make circles and loops around certain people. What happens and what's hard is that when you have long dance sets, people don't move out of their location. So the bride has been in the center, front and center on the dance floor for a while. And if she's not in a great spot, now that is, that's why I move the light. I like, I like the light there. Um, could have been a little further back, but oh, I should be photographing the groom because he looks hilarious. Instead, I'm photographing the girl on the stage. <laughs> All right, so I am trying to get on stage. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, one, because I want to capture from that perspective, get a little higher. It feels a little claustrophobic down there on the dance floor. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of people on the dance floor. It's it, This venue is fascinating. It's a massive castle, but it was actually a home, like a real home, and this was their living room. Don't, a two-story living room, maybe three-story living room um, made of stone. Anyway, so this was never meant to be a large-scale dance party area, um, and it's a little tight. Uh, whenever a big wedding uses Dover Hall and has to utilize um, the big white tent and, you know, it's over a couple hundred people, it it's going to feel tight in here. And then you add a band, and look how much space that, that um, stage has taken up. I mean, that's half the room. So it was a little claustrophobic. So that's why I went up there. Also, I, I know that bands love to have some photos to use. Uh, and so I try to get some of the, I'm thinking of vendors. That's, that's a, a goal. <laughs>
All right, so that last shot, that big wide shot, that's what I was talking about. That used to be someone's living room. Cozy, right? <laughs> Michael and I always laugh. We're like, what were they thinking? Like, what was, you know, we've built two houses. We, what were, what's the look or the feel they were going for when, when they built this house? Like, oh, I want people to walk in and think, oh, I'm kind of scared, kind of uncomfortable definitely not cozy, but I'm impressed. Like, what was the goal? I don't know. But I also have wondered how much did those like floor to ceiling thick drapes cost? And can we turn them into white? I actually hosted a workshop here once. And I remember um, discovering that the inside of them is actually white. And I tried to flip one around. I mean, uh, call me desperate. I was, I was a little desperate, but, um, so it, it, it is a fascinating, epic venue, but there are some s crazy challenges um, when it comes to photography. All right, so this is where I just start to feel like, uh, what else can I show you? Like, um, my approach, once we hit this part of the night, my approach is the same. Have an off-camera flash behind them, use a little bit of power from a bounce card to expose um, the front of them, but not too much because I don't want it to look flat and ugly and overexposed. Um, and I'm basically shooting from whatever angle will allow me to do that. So if my off-camera flash is behind behind them, now that's that's an interesting shot because one light is a video light or a pin light on the dance floor from the lighting company. And then to the left was my flash. So that's another fascinating part about shooting. It's like you can see the groom's parents twirling over there and then everyone else to the right, they're a little bit too bright. So I needed to put my flash in somewhat of the same direction as those spotlights and then shoot back into them. If not, I'm going to have to expose for those pin lights hitting people in the face. And then if I turn around to shoot someone else that's not in the, in the, you know, direction of the, of the pin lights, my exposure is going to be off. So, um, definitely an interesting lighting situation. It's not like a one size fits all. It's a, you got to pay attention to every little thing and every little angle. Are they doing it now? Yeah. Oh, it feels 
feels great out here. Hey Michael, you might want you might want to come stand next to her. Let's light the spark for Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. You if you want to tell you them, know. run through like normal the first time. The second yeah, round, we'll do a chance. kiss and a dip and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> do what? Wait, what? What's that? The line. Okay. Yeah. Michael, what is that one? What is that one? <laughs> She's wondering if. If Wayne is here, then my parents should be here, and my parents are not here, so should I go get my parents? Or sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go get them. So, yeah, go get them. She's changing her dress, so she's probably going to be a while. Yeah, definitely. You go right ahead. Oh, no, Do you want me to hold your sparklers, Tyler? What is happening? Um, you may be thinking, Caitlin, why is she so mad at you? I don't think she's mad at me. I think she's been drinking and, um, I don't think she's mad at me. But, um, but there was an instance inside where she came or she yelled up the steps at me, where's my purse? And I said, I don't know. I'm not the planner. And, and then she said, where is my purse? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not the planner. I don't have anybody's personal belongings. And that's when I realized earlier in the day, like I, I think it was the alcohol speaking and not her because that didn't make sense. She knew I was, I was the photographer. So anyway, um, I think there's another something that happens later. We'll see. But exit. Let's talk about the exit. Ugh, the light. Oh, that orangey light. And this venue, I think I've mentioned this before. This venue added a sign that says Dover Hall and it glows. When The Bachelorette was filmed here and it kills us. Like all the photographers in Richmond, we talk about it. We hate it. Okay. Light one for pictures, and then they'll run through like normal. The okay. second one is they might kiss, or just it's like it. two Got it. two chances. Got it. Yeah. Look at her, she's so cute. <laughs> Woo! Everybody form two lines. Got it. <laughs> Hey Michael, first round is a normal, second round stop halfway for a kiss. So you have two, but only like that's how you can. Okay. All right. I only know that. I'll say a bond. I'll say the pregnant one. I think that's one. Sadly. Good morning. <laughs> um, something that I would highly recommend when you are doing a sparkler exit, take a test shot after everything is lit because if you took a test shot before the sparklers were lit, oh, do you see that sign? The glowing yellow Dover Hall. How awful is that? Gosh, it's awful. Um, but take a test shot with sparklers, not just with your flash. Um, and have them do multiple rounds. That's cute, right? Um, use an off-camera flash behind them so that there's depth and it's not just a flat image, If uh, unless flat is what you're going for. Um, love it. This was great. Great, great, great. I love fake exits because you can do a real exit even if you do a fake exit. Like, you can still have it. But if your coverage time ends then you get tons of exit shots. Just your bridal party and family members leave the reception. Everything else keeps going. The party does not stop. It doesn't have to. Make sure your DJ does not announce it or your band. Um, and you get to just relax and even save some money and your photographer can go home and start up uploading and backing up photos. It's mom right here, okay? Here we go. One, two, and three! Wow, okay. Beautiful! Guys, that was awesome! Yeah.
We're still, it's still light. Might as well go through again. Might as well. Woo! Woo! Hey, uh, how about you look around, Tommy? Everyone else. Ready to light the second one? Sure, yes, yes. Light your second one with that one. Light your second one with that one. When you go through. Well, they have, they all have two. When you dip her, almost stand like this and then dip her so I see the whole front of her, so she's like this. Is that okay? And you're perfect. You do your little toe in the air. It's perfect, okay? You can do it almost at the end, all right? Okay. Yes. Uh, fine, fine. Also, does um does anyone ever think that when we're prepping for a, a sparkler shot, it, everything like happens in slow motion? Like it takes people forever to get ready. Are you good with that tie? I don't know how bright it is, but. Maybe. No, just turn it back. Turn it away. We'll take a. Yes. We'll push him back in there too. What? Okay. Of girls in the middle. Oh, Sorry. yeah, that's always, always yes. the middle. Yes. You're right. You're right. You're right. I love it. There we go. Left hand in the pocket. Right hand in the pocket. Oh yeah. Right. I got it. Wait, which pocket? Nuzzle in. Just kidding. I got it. Hold on, I can fix it. I'm a professional. I'm, a professional. <laughs> I'm retired, guys. I'm retired. All right, one. Oh, I don't know how to use this camera. Oh, my gosh. I think Jay we asked the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> focus. Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. It's, it's okay. struggling in the dark. Hold on. Oh, okay. There we go. I got it. There we go. Three, one, two. Oh, no. That lost it. It's not me, I promise. Tap on the there is no me. Sorry. There's no tapping. Oh. oh there we go. Oh. Hey! Group photo yeah, someone wanted? Photo, oh, like yes, a Trinity photo. Yep. Tapping made it yep. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you want a quick picture with them? Yeah. Guys, can I get a picture of you and Kim? Yeah. I'm just going to live in Abby and too. Yes. I don't want it to be in front of the Dave Rahul sign. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't mind at all. Okay. Yes. Ryan! 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 Guys, you're... Yeah, let, can we twist towards these lights a little bit just so you can see yourselves? Sure, whatever you said. Yeah. There we go. You're pretty good at this. Well, I'm trying. It's, there we go. One more. One, two, and three. Hey, it's pretty good for... <laughs> Yes. Okay. Best decision of the day, I think, was uh, when we went out for lighting. That's the, that was the look at yes. that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is crazy. Do you see that? The kind of like that haze. Yes. yes. That's from the ambulance leaving. Isn't yeah. that hilarious? Car. Just a car I mean, like. that was the only real car I saw back there, though. But that is because some car was back there, and I only saw the ambulance. So I'm like, okay, well, that is proof. Amazing. Mess can come from. You yes, know, beauty, beauty comes, comes from meth. Yes. So anyway, um. Oh my oh, God! No! Okay. Wait, let me take a picture. No, of no, that. no. Let me just airdrop them to you. Oh my God! That yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Let's be honest. The quality. Uh, you're just excited. I'm 